A former Hillsborough County teacher accused of recording students in a changing room is being sentenced for the 324 counts of video voyeurism. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee was in the courtroom all afternoon listening to what he had to say to his victims and what they had to say to him. Off the bat, Mark Ackett took the stand to apologize to his victims after pleading guilty to recording his young students as they undressed in a changing room at Bloomingdale High School. I will never forgive myself for turning what should have been a fond memory for you into something that you would rather forget. Ackett has been an educator for the last 30 years. He says it wasn't until his last year he decided to risk it all by making a very bad decision. He told the judge he's sorry for many things, but not the fact that he was caught. But I simply was not strong enough. I would lie awake some nights drowning in guilt, wondering how I was going to stop. The answer that I couldn't seem to find at the time is that I should have asked for help. Reuben Drake, the man treating Ackett, says he suffers from voyeuristic disorder, an addiction to video voyeurism, which he says can also be viewed as obsessive compulsive. He does not believe Ackett is a future threat. He also says he resisted seeking help out of fear. He's had his moments where he thought, I need help, but where's he going to get help? You look that up uh, online, where do I go for voyeuristic disorder? While several people got up in his defense for a lesser sentence, his victims began to take the stand late Monday afternoon. We are not identifying victims and chose to show Ackett as they testified. The mother of one victim told the court he made her daughter a victim and introduced her to the court system in a way no parent would want. Ackett violated my daughter by visually raping her and by recording those images, subjecting my daughter to be violated by all others that viewed those images. Several students got up and spoke, telling him how they have been impacted by what he did. Dear William Mark Ackett, the man that has caused me so much pain, left me feeling empty inside, made me question my worth in this world, and violated my trust. Even though this was two years ago, I will forever feel the pain and mistrust from you. We'll hear from more victims coming up at 6. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.